What's up guys? We're going to uh, do something a little different today. Instead of being out on the bike, I was able to get my hands on the Shockwave Bluetooth system from Ruroc. I believe it fits the Atlas 2.0 and the Berserker helmets. It is a integrated Bluetooth inside the helmet. I am going to lie though, I actually have opened this up and installed it already and of course I was too excited to do it. I went ahead and did it and didn't record it. but. For this purpose, I'm at least going to go through with it with you. So, when you first open up the box, you're going to have the headset itself. So, it does come with the both sets of speakers for both sides, left and right, and you also get the microphone with it. So, with that, it's going to sit in here. In here, you're going to have the integrated piece that will sit flush in the back of the helmet, and I'll show you that in a moment. A little screwdriver to get it out, and your charging cable. I believe it has like a Eight hour runtime, it is shock and water resistant, but it is not waterproof. So just keep that in mind if you're going on some uh, some wet wet rides or you think it's gonna be pretty rainy, it might be a good idea to cover that or make sure it doesn't get too soaked. All right, so in the helmet itself, take a look on the back. You're gonna have this piece that's kinda like, uh, it's gonna sit flush, it's gonna look like that. It's gonna sit flush in there. Pop those two screws out and it's actually gonna be open in the back of the helmet here and the shockwave system itself is where it's going to sit up inside and this is should sit pretty flush you just pop those two screws in there um, you're going to have a wire that's already inside make sure you pull that out mine happen to be taped in so uh, pull the tape off pull that wire down then inside the helmet your speakers are pretty much going to sit right where these black pieces are for the most part you're going to pop your cheek pads out and your speakers are going to sit pretty much right in this area. I don't know if you can really see that very well on camera here, but both speakers are going to sit on either side and you can pick which side I guess you want your microphone to be on, but that's just going to sit inside this, the cheek piece as well. You're going to run those two wires. In the back, you're going to feel a small hole. It's not very big. So you're going to put the connecting side through there down so you can connect it to the shockwave system. So all in all, I mean, the installation took maybe five to seven minutes, didn't take all that long until I finally figured out what I was doing. And yes, I had to look at the instructions. So there's that. So uh, let's take a look and see if you can hear how it is. Uh, I've been able to take it on about one or two rides so far with work and the weather hasn't been too uh, forgiving here in PA. So let's uh, pop open the music and uh, see how it sounds. All right, so got my Bluetooth on. Let's go ahead, we'll take a look. It's gonna blink, you know, the red and blue like most Bluetooth options now will be when it's trying to pair. So let's go ahead and select the Shockwave audio. Once it's connected, it should blink every so often a uh, blue dot just like that to let you know it's connected. And that's pretty standard with most Bluetooth options now. Now that it's paired, so let's uh, throw in some music and uh, see how it sounds. It gets pretty loud to be inside of a helmet. Now it doesn't sound, it might not sound like much right now, but thinking it's gonna be on your head right next to your ears as you're riding. So I don't know if you guys can hear that, let's see if I can get it kind of close. So, it sounds pretty good. On the rides that I've been able to take on with it so far, I'm enjoying it, I like it. I tried the calling portion of it um, it sounds pretty good. Um, the phone call I was on, the, the person on the other line actually thought I sounded better through that microphone than I did with the one on my phone. Thank you, Apple. But once you get it all back together and these cheek, pe these cheek pads just kind of pop right back in. There's little tabs on them so they just pop in and out. So it's pretty easy to manipulate. But all in all, but honestly, I'm happy with it. Um, versus other systems out there. It was pretty affordable and I like the fact that it was made specifically for the Atlas 2.0. But that's it. So you guys are just gonna have to go check it out for yourselves. This is ruach.com. This is the Shockwave Audio for the Atlas 2.0. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope to see you on the next one.